What up? I'm back. Yeah, I gotta drop another dime on y'all. Check this out. I'm about to give y'all uh, a prices a prices uh, a gem and jewel that pretty much has been in effect for the last probably 40 to 50 years. I mean, I mean these two concepts probably been in effect. One has been in effect for at least the last 30 years, and the other one has been in effect for the last at least 50 years. You feel me? And that is, drum roll please. Yeah, it's the remix or the extended version of whatever your song is. And the reason why I'm saying that is is that you need to understand that you need to exploit the song that you've created. And sometimes when you play your song on different mediums, i.e. what I've learned from just having vinyl, is sometimes when you speed stuff, uh, certain uh, selections up, it becomes a party favorite. It wasn't a party favorite before it was sped up. And that's the thing you guys gotta like kind of consider and think about but you really don't know because you're in the you kind of in a digital mindset to where we don't get to speed things up we don't get to slow things down and so some songs sound good slow some songs sound good faster and say you have your song and you're done with it you need to be able to be uh, uh in a position to where you can take that song and speed it up and maybe keep the same melody but maybe change the beat and change some other instruments in it and to make it faster to cater to the party and that's the, ultimately you want to be played at the party you don't want to just have a song out there you can have a regular version of the song out there for people to listen to people to vibe to people to enjoy but if you finish a song and it's not played at the party that's what you need to think about the remix you need to consider the remix or the extended version or it's the party version or whatever the fuck you want to call it but you need to have something that's sped up to the right tempo to where it can cater to the party whatever 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 tempo that song could be at it ain't got to be sped up to some edm uh tempo it ain't got to be remixed to some trap tempo it ain't got it got to be sped up to some type of party this is the tempo that they playing at the time whether it's a 105 dance you know what I'm saying? Kind of Afro beat to whether it's uh, 112 and it's uh, Deep House to whether it's um, it's 120 or 125, like a dance deep, like a dance EDM track. Or whether it's sped up more than that to be like some drum and bass. It don't matter. I don't know. You select whatever you want to select. But all I do know is, is that it has to fit the right tempo to move everybody's heartbeat. And if it can't do that, I don't give a fuck. What you talking about, it could be a great song. You gotta think about it after you make the song. You can't even really think about this when you're making the song. If you're able to think about this when you're making the song, yeah, you, you set that gold standard. You set that gold standard when you do that. But if you can't and you after, and you after the fact, even now, if you still got the original data, the object is to take that song and to make it to where it's at the right tempo to where you can hand it to any DJ. They can take it. They can play it at any setting, any moment. It'll fit right in their playlist. It'll fit right in their set. You can get played at the party. You get played. They get to dance. They moving their bodies to your, your song, whether it's the remix of it or whether it's the extended version of it or whether it's whatever, whatever. Because if you got the extended version or you got the remix, guess what? That's more that's more audio time to print on analog to sell. So if you got vinyl to sell and you got two sides of that vinyl, you can print some on the front side and the back side. If you got tapes to sell, you can record some on the front side and the back side of that tape. That's what y'all need to be thinking about. That's more merchandise to sell. That's more uh music to get out there that's more music to use for the djs that you're running to and frankly that's more that's more stuff to offer your fan base and the people that that really really love your music and i think you should consider that and do that 
You should make a regular version of the card and you should make a sports version of the card. You should make a regular version of the song and, a, and the song that caters to just getting to it, getting to dancing, partying, having fun, whatever you want to call it, and it's glorious. So y'all tell me what y'all think down below if y'all don't think I know what I'm talking about. But oh, I know what I'm talking about in this instance. Tempo matters. So whatever you think about this, just let me know down below. I'm out.